Hello, Jonathan. It is a tour of the garage. So, you can see here, here is the shelving unit, Carrie made, much like this shelving unit over here. Um, she made this first, you might have seen this one already. And she wanted to make, uh, she was gonna make another shelving unit just like that over here, but uh, I asked about moving my desk out here so like, my kids could have my old office area for a playroom which is where you saw that video of them saying hi to you and Alex and Calliope. So she built this shelf in here. She's using the, the main board from my old desk, which is tore apart. And then she added a little extra table here. She just she measured it high enough so I could slide this in here to get it out of the way. Uh, it slides more than that, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Um, and I set up the VR so that I got my station over here. And another station is up here. So I have an ideal, just about as big as you can get, area. Coming back here, you've probably seen our, our workbench. And there's still some clutter here, we'll clean out of the way. Over here, we got our table, which is a great big table to lean stuff down. And I've been trying to work pieces off of it, so that's why I like that there's a sewing machine over here. This is actually a project for the little kids to take apart and uh, practice destroying machinery and putting it back together. This is one of Carrie's projects. She's building a uh, frame that'll go in our middle bathroom that'll block out the skylight so you can pull a piece of sheet over to block the sun or open it up when we want light so it won't be light to wake the kids up uh, early in the morning when the sun comes up and uh, the cabinet here we're trying to figure out the ideal spot I'm probably on the seam of that video but it was here sticking out into the room but it kind of blocked my view because uh, as you can see up here is the Dell projector which fills that entire wall of, with, uh, with the image. And I'll turn it on so you can see it. But um, <coughs> like this. And I'll power up. Um, so I've been trying to figure out where to put the arcade cabinet. I'm thinking actually it might be ideal kind of hovering out in space just so we can get around it and get behind it easily. Um, and still hopefully have access that table. The trick is not completely blocking the, the image coming in from the short throw projector. You can't see it, but back in the corner is uh, the old photo table with pictures of all of us as children. And that's going to be our electrical area for soldering and electrical engineering projects. And that's it. So it's kind of settling in. It's kind of turning into something cool. I'll go stand in the garage window. You can see how that fits as I get about here, that's where the light is hitting from this angle. Um, huzzah! So that's our redesigned garage. Got some movies, we got video games, you can't see the shelf here behind this baby stuff, but this is a shelf full of all the video games. Blah blah. So that's my quick tour of our new garage space. We oh, and just a gripe, this is the weird snow that uh, appeared second time I turned the projector on. First time it was perfect. It was either the cold or because I knocked it slightly when it was on the first time. I was trying to shimmy it slightly to make the image perfectly line up in the garage, but maybe I shouldn't have touched it. But supposedly, the internet says that snow won't go away unless I tear it open and replace a DLP chip, which costs like 200 bucks. So I may not do that. Because, you know, there's still a lot of image to see. I could probably still play old games pretty well. Listen to commentaries on Blu-rays. Watch horror movies. Um, and you can't see it here maybe but the final piece of the puzzle is that back here I have all the consoles I've ever owned and so my plan is to lay them all out and uh, I'm all connected to this audio receiver this is my old theater system which the HDMI chip melted but still has plenty of inputs for all the old RCA type jacks and they all run up here to HDMI to the projector so in theory, I can have all my old consoles connected to this flawed garage screen. Blah, blah, blah. Rough tour. I'll stop there. Bloop, bloop, bloop.